Hello you was faces, welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to show you my HUD layout and basically go into detail of my HUD layout. I've gone into detail before, like I've sh not gone into detail but I've shown my HUD layout on other videos but this time I'm actually going to focus only on that. I'm going to tell you why and for each reason and this is I'm pretty sure going to be my like final one. I may adjust it just like to be closer to my fingers or something like that but other than that I'm pretty sure this is going to be my final HUD layout for Call of Duty Mobile unless some mechanics change. So if we go into settings, and then you go into, oh no, I can't do that right now, dude. And then we go into control, right? I don't use simple mode, I just feel like advanced, well, I'm a sniper, and simple mode is just not going to be good enough for me in terms of speed. I've seen people snipe on simple mode, and it's not as fast as if you're on advanced mode. So I'm going to go customize, right? And as you can see, this is where my HUD layout is. Right here, I have my reload button, my jump, and then my crouch and dash. And then in the top corner, I have my regular shoot button. And then in the top left corner, well, not necessarily top left corner, but in the left corner, I have my ADS shoot button. And that's there because I basically snipe and I play with ARs and SMGs. And I want to basically be able to use all of them efficiently without having to essentially change my HUD or anything so I'm trying to get used to one simple thing so I can just grab any gun I want if I run out of bullets or something and then I can use that gun so as you can see the ADS button right is right there so my finger can lay on it relatively comfortably because it's when it's in the top it's not that comfortable and the reason why I have that one in the top the regular or regular shoot button is because I'm not going to be constantly using it and um because I'm gonna be using the ADS button more when I'm sniping but for my fingers it's just more comfortable to have it a bit lower so because i will curl my finger up and then just lay it on there when i whenever i need to shoot now i have my knife button right here because it's in the perfect location for me to just instantly hit it whenever someone comes too close sometimes i don't even have to think about it it just does it because that's where my finger is always at when it's looking uh right here i just have my i i'm just gonna call this a little spe the special basically it's uh, the special power up whatever and I, it doesn't really matter where you keep it I just like to have it there because I don't really want it anywhere else since it's pointing to the right I mean it's yes the back of it's pointing to the right I feel like it should be in the right now for this right here I use my index finger and I tap my index finger on top of that right while I have my index finger right there on the top and that way I can switch guns and also shoot at the same time so for example if I'm using a AR and I'm just scoping down and I begin to shoot using the regular shoot button I, and I run out of bullets I can switch to my pistol or my knife by just putting my finger down that way I don't have to move my thumb off of my look area and risk basically um, not being able to turn around and kill someone that is basically you know trying to take me out Okay, so now for my score streaks, as you can see, I don't really have them at the bottom, I actually have them at the top right here. And that's so I can essentially click my score streaks while still being able to move, because I noticed when I was clicking my score streaks before, I would always have to stop moving, because I would have to take my thumb off of the uh, movement button, and then I would have to go and basically hit the score streaks with my thumb off the movement button, and that would stop me, and that could end up getting me killed. So I did not like that, and I couldn't put it really to the right because I have my other stuff right there, and I also have where I move and I look and aim. So I couldn't put it to the right, so the best place for me to put it was basically at the very top, and I didn't want to hide the HP button, so I couldn't put it in the top right, and I didn't want to cover anything, so it's at the very top. The only problem with this, but because this is a pretty good layout, is that I, cannot be, I can't use any loot boxes, so I can't get any care packages. So if you're a person that uses a care package, which I don't really use a care package, uh, score streak, so it doesn't necessarily affect me, then this may not be the best for you, and you should just leave it down there if you don't worry, if you don't, you know, want that delay. But as long as you're not really using the care packages, this is probably the best location to actually have your um, score streaks because you can move and click it. Oh, I can see my HP, my bar for my. Uh, you know these score streaks and I can also see uh, yeah but yeah I can see those two things but it actually be cool if you can like you know rotate it to be upside down because then I would like or just flip it that way I would be able to hit my um you know uh, 
care package, but I don't use care packages, and I don't really steal them, so I'm pretty good without that. Now, if you turn your attention to the right, top right, there's my settings and buttons, and I keep that there because I can't really put it to the left because, um, to the right, because the right's pretty filled up. I used to have it there, but yeah, I can't put it to the right, and I can't put it to the left or the bottom left because since when you click the button, it everything pops out to the left you can't really do anything so basically I cannot um, use it if it's on the left because everything's gonna be cut off and I don't want it like in the center so for me this is the best location for it and yeah also one more thing I have my grenade right there so I can just tap it with my thumb it's pretty close so this little thing like it's kinda like a little ring right and I can access just about all my buttons without it being too bad and at the very top as you can see, I have my emote, and I did not put that there intentionally. I was trying to move it out the way, but then it got there and stuck on the confirm button, and I cannot get it off, so I don't want to reset my HUD because the knife button is in such a beautiful place that it automatically just knifes when someone comes close that I don't want to move it. So I'm basically stuck with that there, but it's not that big of a deal. I can just see past it. It hasn't really covered anything for me. I think that's about it. The plant the bomb button and the um, shoot the change weapon button, they're in pretty good locations. And the run button, I can't really do. It would work. I feel like they're going to fix it soon because in PUBG Mobile it works pretty well, just not too well in here. And other than that, I believe that are that's all the buttons on here. Um, actually, one more thing. If you look right here, uh, top left, the scope in button, I use that. Um, this is just telling my strategy really it's how I use the HUD layout because I mean there's no point in knowing the HUD layout if you can't use it so um that right there I use that scope in and then I use the shoot button to shoot whenever you know I need to use an AR or a SMG and that way like if I'm pre-aiming because pre-aiming is the thing you need to do if I need to pre-aim I can do it and if I just need to instantly begin to shoot while aiming down sights I can do that and I can also hit fire by using that button alone so it's pretty good all around for AR. Good for sniping because of course I can use that to trick shot and no scope and I can just use that button to instantly shoot. And the I, it's basically foolproof except for one thing. I mean, and it's not necessarily anything wrong with my HUD setups. It's wrong. This is the thing that Call of Duty Mobile does have to fix. You can still tap buttons if you get too close to them. So even if your finger's not directly on it, you can still tap a button, which I don't necessarily like because if my uh, I don't know, my crouch button's right there, my jump button's right there. If my finger's too close to the crouch button, I may click the crouch button. So you just got to make sure you hit exactly what you want to hit. And, that, I mean, that shit goes for all of them. But, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and it helped you out, leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, hit the, hit the subscribe button. But I'm actually going to do one more thing, just give you guys a bit more information. Let's cancel this. As you can see in advanced mode, some people were, you know, wondering whether or not they can use hip fire and like how does hip fire work and like what does the ADS button do. So the ADS button, as you remember, was on the top left side of my screen. And depending on what you click, you can change what its function is. So assault rifles aim down sights. When I hit that button, it automatically aims down sights. You can make it a hip fire button, but it's not really worth it because if you make it a hip fire button, you'll only really be able to hit fire with that button and um you won't be able to aim down scopes instantly in aim down your sight instantly which is very valuable i mean yeah you can do it just using the scope in button and then shooting but it's not as fast as just the button so sometimes i do find this button pretty valuable especially for pre-aiming with um ar so i would need that but yeah basically if you were to turn hip fire on for assault rifles the ad button would only do hip fire that's why I have my, um, whatchamacallit, like, that's why I have the, my controls the way they are, because I can just hit that to hit fire, hit that button right there to hit fire, and that button to scope in. But of course, maybe you don't want to do my layout, and I can understand that. So if you don't want to do that, the, uh, let's say you're using SMGs, you can basically use an SMG, have it on hip fire, and then use the regular scope in button, that scope in, scope in button right there. To just scope in and then you just have the regular ADS button which you use for everything that way you don't have to have the left one left button and the right button on your stream once again that's it I keep on saying that but I keep on giving you guys more information 
and if you do want to enable the left fire button you just turn it on and yeah i think now i'm done but yeah hope you guys enjoyed tie on out Thank <laughs> you.